Kirsty Young, who will be leading the BBC coverage of Queen Elizabeth II's funeral today, previously spent £1.6 million on her own remote getaway after stepping away from her career due to health problems. The presenter, 53, decided to quit her role as the host of Desert Island Discs back in 2019 after suffering from fibromyalgia and rheumatoid arthritis. Kirsty and her husband Nick Jones then splashed the cash on a remote island in Scotland. The couple spent the huge seven-figure sum on the 103-acre inch Kanakan Island in Loch Lomond earlier this year, with the intention of building a two-story, three-bedroom timber lodge for their holidays. Other plans include a boathouse, jetty and other outbuildings. The island was owned by the aristocratic Cahoon family, but nobody has lived there for the past 20 years. Inchkanakan is famously home to a troop of wallabies, with up to 60 of the animals thought to roam the island. It is one of just a handful of places in Europe where marsupials can be found. Kirsty and Nick, 58, have said they are committed to immediate action and long-term environmental management of the island, which is in a neglected state according to plans submitted to local authorities. Kirsty, who has two children and two stepchildren with her husband, stepped down from hosting Desert Island Discs following 12 incredible happy and fulfilling years in the role. Her interview subjects included Sir David Attenborough, David Beckham, George Michael, and Dame Judi Dench. Speaking about her decision to leave the show, she said, after 12 incredibly happy and fulfilling years on Desert Island Discs I've decided to step down permanently. Having been forced to take some months away from my favorite job because of health problems, I'm happy to say I'm now well on the way to feeling much better. But that enforced absence from the show has altered my perspective on what I should do next and so I've decided it's time to pursue new challenges. Having hundreds of castaways share their triumphs, tragedies, tribulations and tracks with me over the years was a huge privilege and an education. I am so thankful to Roy Plomley for the brilliance of his format, and I wish the program and Lauren all the very best. Kirsty made a welcome return to our screens back in June in honor of the Queen's Platinum Jubilee and she said she couldn't resist working on the coverage. Describing the opportunity, she said, it's a unique moment. We'll never see it again, certainly in our lifetimes and maybe never, so I couldn't resist. The late monarch's funeral today marks a further return to presenting for Kirsty, who was part of the BBC's lineup for its coverage, alongside the likes of Hugh Edwards, 61. It comes following the death of Queen Elizabeth II on September 8. She has been succeeded on the throne by her eldest son, King Charles III, formerly known as Prince Charles. Do you have a story to sell? Get in touch with us at webcelebsatmirror. Co.uk or call us direct 0207293033. Read more R.I.P. Queen Elizabeth II Queen's clever design for her hearse why she always wore bright colors new line of succession relationship with Kate.